What well, gang, Carolina Giant Pot Time coming at you Thursday afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. It's pretty big news out of Columbia today. It looks like uh, Shane Beamer is set to hire uh, former Gamecocks offensive line coach and run game coordinator and also, most recently, former Georgia State head coach Sean Elliott as the Gamecocks tight ends coach and uh, run game coordinator. As you know, uh, Justin Stepp left the program about now, eh, what was it, about a week, 10 days ago, uh, to head up to Illinois to be a wide receivers coach there, left a void. Uh, this is a pretty big hire uh, for that position. And just kind of surprising, maybe not. It's kind of out of nowhere, but maybe it's not. I, I don't know. I, I don't really, un I don't know the circumstances surrounding Sean Elliott stepping down from Georgia State. He wasn't let go. Um, he stepped down. I was 41 and 44 there. Been the head coach since 2017. They've been to four bowl games, <clears throat> four in a row, I believe, and had a, uh, I think it was a seven and six record this past season. His family, or at least part of his family, was still living uh, in Columbia. He last coached at South Carolina back in uh, 2016. Uh, so, uh, you know, I guess, you know, school and, and whatnot, uh, the children and maybe the wife decided to remain in Columbia. I wasn't aware of that. I did not know that, but he's from South Carolina. Uh, he played at Camden High School, and then he was at App State. He played at App State from 92 to 95, was the um, offensive line coach there from 01 to 09. So, and it was at South Carolina from 2010 through 16. So some good stuff there. Um, he brings uh, an immense amount of knowledge, uh, brings an immense amount of passion um, with him. Uh, if you've seen how it, you know, just absolutely fired up, and um, just really into it, he gets on the sidelines. I mean, this guy is, uh, he's intense uh, and focused, and uh, this is a really good hire. I'm not gonna throw out the cliche, home run hire, that I saw in the uh, message boards I was reading earlier, but if you wanna say it's a home run hire, I guess it's a home run hire. I, I really don't, though, it's kinda weird. I don't know why he left Georgia State. I would think that it has something to do with the, the reason a lot of these guys are leaving these programs, I mean, the the re-recruiting your roster, the, the, the transfer portal, I mean, you've got to have a, a, a big knot in your stomach uh, half the year, wondering when the transfer portal is open, which is seemingly it's open all the time. Uh, there's so many loopholes and, and scenarios where one, well, it's, it's closed for these guys, but it's open for these graduates here. And I mean, it just seems like it would be just a lot to a lot to wrap your head around a lot to keep up with in a job that's inherently already pretty damn demanding anyway so that could be the reason why i know you know georgia state has produced some decent talent last few years and uh, you know has has become a a target for you know bigger programs to pick off some of the uh some of the better talent, most most recently, um, notably one Marcus Carroll, the running back there who rushed for about 12, 1,300 yards this year, hits the transfer portal uh, and ends up uh, on Eli Dorkowitz's squad uh, at Mizzou, uh, standing on business. So it, it's a tough it's a tough job, and uh, I'm not going to say not everyone can do it because obviously he could do it. Maybe he just didn't want to do it any longer. Maybe he wants to have a little bit more time with his family. And uh, that was the reason for the change. And uh, I'm sure he placed a call to Shane Beamer. And um, that's how this was probably worked out. Uh, so anyway, Sean Elliott returning to South Carolina as the tight ends coach and run game coordinator. Uh, we had some pretty good teams there uh, in the early 2010s to mid 2010s. While he was there, some some be, a lot better than what we've done lately. So um, this is a, a welcome addition, and I don't think there's anyone in Game Cotton Nation who is uh, upset to see this guy coming back. Uh, yours truly, um, absolutely loves this and thinks it's a good thing. Uh, the basketball game last night. If you joined us for the live stream, we had some fun there. Uh, you got saw me got to see me get upset. Um, 
I don't really know what happened other than just to say, you know, South Carolina, that was probably uh, their worst performance of the year coupled with playing on the road against a really, really good team. A team that's really good at home is uh, a recipe for disaster. But the, the upsetting part is they knew this was coming. They, they knew what they were facing and they were powerless to stop it. You know, there are a lot of Gamecock fans on Twitter that are like, this doesn't mean nothing. You have this happen all the time. It's basketball. It happens. Well, I mean, it's you can't you can't just wash it off and say, oh, I mean, there's no reason for concern there. There's no, just look the other way. Nothing to see here. I mean, they got to get some things right. Uh, they absolutely do. Defense was horrible last night. Three-point shooting was horrible for the most part. Uh, so they got some work to do. Saturday, back in the Colonial Life Arena against LSU. Hopefully we can uh, right the ship there. Carolina Jackpot usually wins when I go to the ball game, so hopefully they win this week. Anyway, I'll see you guys later on. I appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content here, um, and I will see y'all later. Peace, and I'm out. Go Gamecocks.